There is a bear on this ridge line right over here. <gasps> my flight catch Oh my gosh, I see a bear! Oh my gosh! Ooh, he is looking at it. The big guy down there. He is! Look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! Oh! You have made my day! <laughs>every aviator remembers that special moment when they were introduced to flying, that first time they took control of an aircraft, felt the magic of flight, and logged their first flight time. Although I have flown in several aircraft, I have never been given dual or logged any time at the flight controls. We took off from Chicago O'Hare and flew to Anchorage, where we rented a jeep and went north towards Telkina. The plan on this trip was for Mark to get his seaplane rating, for us to do some hiking around Denali, and then head down to Homer for some halibut fishing. Alaska Float and Skis is like a little slice of paradise. The flight school is first class, and the flight instructors are fantastic. But even better than that, everyone there quickly seems like family. Sarah was kind enough to take me on my intro flight between giving Mark lessons. So after some ground school, we set out on our adventure. Oh, are you excited? I am. I'm scared to death, but I'm excited. Don't be nervous. I am nervous, fun. though. You're going to do great. She's a pretty good pilot. <laughs> 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 All right, so our water rotors are down because this is how we're going to steer when we first start the engine. It's just going to be our feet. A lot of pilots come out here and try to steer like this, and that doesn't do anything when okay. we're on the water. So it's right. just your feet steering. So have your feet kind of on the pedals and okay. ready to steer. This is our mixture. Push that all the way in. So when we start the engine, I'm gonna have you have one hand on the starter. <laughs> it's gonna crank, and then one hand on the throttle. Okay, so the starter was so, the switch. So the master is the switch that so can come up. Oh, that is up. up. Oh, there it is. Flip this left mag up, and then left hand down on the starter. The button. The button. Yep. Okay, just and then keep a hand on here. When it starts to catch, you can bring the throttle back. Cool. Perfect. Make sure you gotta talk kind of loud in this plane, because this plane, so the engine gets real loud. Hey, right, can you hear me? Okay. Oh yeah, I can hear you great. Am I like super loud in your ear? That's okay. That's what I want, because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna probably not remember what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna taxi down this way. Um, we're gonna do the same thing that Mark did. We're gonna do kind of a high-speed taxi. I don't know if you're sitting on the deck watching us, but. We're going to do a high-speed taxi back that way before we actually get airborne okay. to, make sure, to make sure that we can actually hear each other when the um, throttle is all the way in. So while we're taxiing down this way, can I close the door yet? Well, if you want to, you can also leave it open. I feel like I'm going to fly out if I don't close it. <laughs> Alright, so if you can reach that string, yeah, pull that close. So while we're taxiing down this way, there's a taxi checklist up posted up there. Oh, okay. And remember you're steering with your feet. We're gonna head straight back towards that direction. It's a little bit of right rudder. Get us pointed all the way back to that oh, end of the I lake. See, like that little cove back there? Yeah, that okay. little cove. And then while we're heading back this way you can start going through the taxi checklist. So the first thing on the taxi checklist is controls. So that means you want to check all the flight controls to make sure that they're free and correct. So what that means is with the yoke, you're going to go full left, full right, full back, full forward. And while you're doing this, you want to look out at the ailerons and make sure they're going the right way. So when you do full left, that one should be going the right direction. The forward and back is back in the tail. You might not be able to see that, but I can see it on my door. So the controls are free and correct, and then with your feet, kick it right, kick it left to make sure when you do that it goes the right direction. So like full right, full left. Alright, so the controls are free and correct. The next thing on the list is instruments. So all these things from left to right we'll talk about here real quick. So our run-up's good, safety. I've got my seat belt on, you've got yours on. My door is um, open, but I'll shut that here momentarily. 
And then we're gonna go through before takeoff real quick. So trim is up here. I'm not gonna have you mess with trim too much on this flight. Mixture is right where I want it to be. Carb heat is off. Gas is on both. Flaps are gonna be out for this one. And then water rudders to go. So we're gonna get on step going this way. This is when the engine's gonna be really loud and we're gonna mostly be testing to make sure you can hear me okay. So go ahead and bring the water rudders up if you can. Reach down, pull those all the way up. Perfect, and it's gonna get real loud here. We're gonna straighten out going this way. Remember, this doesn't do anything I for know, the I'm steering. Like I'm driving, <laughs> it's so it's I'm real hard to like get oh. over that. But yeah, so once we straighten out, this yoke's gonna come all the way back. Hold this back, and then go ahead and bring it full throttle. The nose is gonna come up, and then at one point, I'm gonna have you bring the yoke back to neutral, and then you're gonna bring the power back a little bit. All right, so full power, all the way in. I can't see. It's okay, that's normal. There's the first rise, all the way in, full power. And then let the nose come down. Let the nose come down a little bit. Perfect, this is perfect. And now right here, bring the power back a little bit. Just a little bit. Perfect, that's perfect. A little bit less power. And you should hold a little bit of weight in your hands. A little more power, a little small adjustments, just a little bit more. Perfect, this is a perfect step taxi. You can bring these back neutral and just hold a little bit of weight in your hands. You hold got the rudders? Them. Yeah, so you're okay. steering you're steering with the rudders. Yeah, that you can pretty much let go. So this is perfect. This is your step taxi. Could you hear me okay through all that? Oh yeah. Perfect. So you're gonna kick to the left a little bit, steer that way. And then straighten out to the right. I know it feels weird. <laughs> perfect. So this is your step taxi. To come out of this, go ahead and bring the power all the way back. Yoke all the way back. And keep this yoke all the way back. You're going to settle. It's going to feel weird. Cool. This is a perfect step taxi. Wow. Woo! Okay. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to get ready to take off. You feeling good? I think so. All right. Yeah. Cool. I just mostly want to make sure you can hear me okay through all of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, when you first bring the power in, the nose is way up in the air. Right. It's weird. You can't see anything. Yeah. But as soon as you let the nose come down, you have full control of the airplane again you can see pretty well. So we're going to taxi all the way back into that cove now and remember you're using your feet to steer. <laughs> Water runners can come down, that'll probably help us steer a little better, so pop these ones down. Cool, now you should be able to steer a little bit better. I'm going to be listening to the radio for a second here, just keep us going straight back in that cove. And remember this, this guy isn't doing anything for us right now. Wind 2804 was better than 5005. So this is all the weather report, getting all the weather information right now. Vapor drum day one, left traffic. All other ports are requested. Contact Telkin Radio 123.6 for traffic advisories. Advice to should contact, you have Foxtrot. All right, we have Foxtrot. And this is the point where I'm gonna be talking to the radio. I'm gonna tell them where we are, what we're gonna do, and then I have the information. And then they're gonna come back and tell me if there's any traffic in the area. Christian, like traffic, I'll go right over you if that's all right. I see somebody right in front of us. Yep, Christian, like traffic, that sounds good. We're just taxiing back into the cove. All right, keep it coming straight this way. He's gonna come in and land over the top of us. It's gonna be really cool. <laughs> Oh, and it's warm today. It is. It's going to be nice out. Awesome. So you're going to come to the left a little bit around this little patch of weeds and then go straight like through there. Fish Lake Pilot, Tango's left traffic lane to the left, Fish Lake. This is so cool. Wow. Oh, that's Andy. That's Don's son. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> Good night. Beautiful landing. Alright, now we're going to go through our before takeoff checklist real quick. Uh, let me call Talkina Radio. Talkina Radio, flip plane 7347 Delta Taxi and Christensen will be taking off to the northwest via Foxtrot and the uh, company traffic. Talkina traffic, Skyhawk 7574, midfield crossing. For left downwind runway one left. I'm so I added one feet. notch of flaps because we want one notch of flaps. Roger. Only additional traffic is called up on downwind. Colonel Twitter, 2962. Four seven Delta, thank you. 
We're gonna go back into this corner and then make a left turn around when we're ready for takeoff. So before takeoff checklist, trim is set, mixture is set where I want it, carb heat is off. Gas is on both. I added a notch of box. So you're just going to be in charge of bringing the water rudders up when we start to make this turn. Takina traffic 74 entering left downwind runway one left. Takina. Alright. Pull left and bring those water rudders up. Reach down for those. One minute ago. information. I might be on the radios a little bit coming out of here. Christian's in Lake Traffic, we'll plane 4, so Delta taking off to the north. Alright, Yoke's gonna come all the way back. Go ahead and bring it full power. Perfect, all the way in, full power real quick here. Full, full power. First rise. There's your second rise, you can let the nose come down. Keep this neutral. And then right about here, you're gonna start bringing in a little back pressure to keep the nose right there on the horizon. What do you mean by that? So just keep a little weight in your hands, a little weight in your hands, and then we're off the water. What? <laughs> You're gonna have to help me with this. And you're flying. It's crazy. Let the nose come down, push the nose down just a little bit. Now that we're in the air, you should kind of be able to see where you're going. So that should be the sight picture you're looking for. You want to be able to see like the mountains out in front of you. So nose down like that. That could, should kind of be the sight picture that you're looking for. Fish Lake Drive, hold plane, two zero tangos, right traffic, line into the west. Fish Lake. Alright, the airport's right over there off your left hand side. So we're going to stay to the right a little bit. How you feeling? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on right in the first little bit. This is perfect. And you can see just the peak of Denali sticking out through the clouds over there. It almost looks like it's part of the clouds. We're gonna head straight over there. Is that like a river that runs through there? That's a glacier. That's no. the roof glacier. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. And that's where we're heading if you want to go up there. I mean, if you want to see a glacier in Alaska, it's okay if you don't want to. You've probably seen like a million of those in your life, but... I've never seen one. <laughs> Alright, that's where we're heading then. We're gonna go over towards the river. You can kind of see the river out there. So your flight controls, keep your hands on the yoke. And we're gonna practice a little bit of turns here. So just give like a little bit of pressure on your left foot. Keep your feet on the rudder. A little bit of pressure and then follow with the aileron. And we're just gonna head straight in that direction. So when we're ready to roll out, you're gonna use the opposite foot. Just give a little bit of pressure. Perfect. how insane this is, your first ever lesson okay. in a float plane in Alaska. Hard to stay focused. <laughs> Imagine my job, I have to like, I have to tear my eyes away from Denali to, to stay focused on my job. I love what Denali is like this, it seriously just looks like it's part of the clouds. It and does. You can't even believe that it's that tall of a mountain. I just can't believe that we're only like 300 miles, or 300 feet above sea level, right at the airport. This goes up to like 20,000 feet. What? Yeah. It's insane. So we're going to go up towards the mountain. Um, how warm it is today, and what these clouds, the clouds being real puffy and nice, tells me that it might be a little bit bumpy up there. We might get a little bit of turbulence, so. It doesn't look too bad today, but just be ready for a little bit of bumps. It's real smooth where we are right now, but the closer you get to the mountain, the mountain creates its own weather patterns up there because it's just so huge. So as we get a little closer, it might be a little bumpy. You're doing great. You're like super gentle on the controls, which I like. Over highway camp will be over the UR officially. You 
gonna go check out the river and see if there's any any animals down Good there. Job. We're gonna go to this river. Let's swing it a little bit of left rudder with your foot, follow with a little bit of aileron. So go ahead and bring the throttle back a little bit more. We're gonna try to descend a little bit. So a little bit back, that's perfect. And then the nose should be just coming down a little bit on the horizon, just like this, perfect. All this stuff, you're just looking at what the nose is doing in relation to the horizon. If you want to fly straight and level without climbing or descending, you pick a point on the horizon and keep the nose there. If you want to descend a little bit, you pick a point a little lower on the horizon and keep the nose there. So as we get over the river, we're going to do kind of a diving right-hand turn to follow the river around. I wish all my students were this smooth on the rudders and the ailerons. You're so good, you don't have any bad habits, so you're real smooth on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, you are super smooth on the controls. This is awesome. You're natural. Four seven Delta six two Alpha. Four seven Delta switch to company. Sure thing. one. That's Ken who just took off calling me. We're just gonna keep following the river. Four seven Delta six two Alpha, you up? Four seven Delta five. Hey, land to the east on Moon Shadow. Is it pretty smooth up in the mountains up there? Say again? Is it pretty smooth up in the mountains up there or bumpy? So far so good. We're getting ready to go into pineapple. Sounds good. Have a good flight. You too. Thanks. You need to get your uh, private pilot's license on a float plane before you even fly wheels. That would be epic. <laughs> Do you know how many people can say that they've done that? Right. I mean, not, not many. No. Could be a woman to fly, too. Sorry, what? Just the percentage of women who fly is just so small. Yeah. It's super awesome. Like, my husband, Mark's sister, is a pilot as well. And she flies when she can, but she has her private, and she loves it. When they come to town, they try and go flying. It's just amazing. Yep. I love it. Yep. That's one of my favorite things about flying in Alaska, actually, is up here, everyone flies. So, like, being a woman pilot or female pilot doesn't really matter, because it's just like a given. If you live up here, you right. know how to fly. Right. Do you mind if I take a few pictures? Yeah, not at all. Here are all my flight controls. Yes, your flight <laughs> My control. flight controls. And we're just going to level out here. So, did you go through Anchorage at all? We did. We swear our um, our flight landed yesterday, and we spent the night. Have you heard of Moose's Tooth in Anchorage, the pizza place? Yes, and we actually tried to go in there, but they were closed. Oh, I know. We've had several people tell us to try it. Yes. And Mark's like, "All right, let's go try it," and we found out they were closed. Yeah. Oh man. Everything in Anchorage has been like struggling to stay open. Oh, so sad. But Moose's Tooth is named after this mountain, the one that's kind of right off our nose, that big open rock face up there, the oh. top of it's up in the clouds. Okay. That's Moose's Tooth. Oh. So that's what that name comes from. That's cool. And then over to the right, it's in the clouds, but over to the right there's Broken Tooth. And when you pass between Moose's Tooth and Broken Tooth, it's called Floss Gap. So you're flossing the, the teeth. Yeah. That's funny. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. I just went to that lake for the first time the other day. Okay. That's called Pirate Lake. Uh, One of the old like mountain climbers who basically like pioneered Denali and found the the route that most people take up there. Okay. That's the lake he owns land on. He looked, he had this big black beard and uh, wore a bandana, so they call that one Pirate Lake for him. That's cool. And his son was there, and that's what my last student knew him. So we went in there and saw his place, and wow. <laughs> he lived like way in the bush, in the bush, oh, got sure. like no electricity, just this little one room cabin, floor to ceiling books, just like books stacked everywhere. Wow. And then they've got six little sled dogs running around outside, it's oh. real cool. Yeah, could you imagine just like, anytime you need something, you're either in an airplane or on a snowmobile trying to get to it, oh, to get to town. Okay, great. It's definitely, in my term, I guess that would be rugged. <laughs> That's a little rugged. It's pretty rugged, yeah. Okay, nice. Do you do a lot of hiking? I do. Oh. I have a dog that I just got over the winter, so. Nice. I hike a lot with her, although 
There's a lot of stuff up here that I don't feel super confident hiking by myself. Oh, right. <laughs> so I don't hike nearly as much as I would like to. I always feel like the bottom of the glacier down here looks just like the surface of the moon or something. Wow. Are you just going to follow along? Yep. Okay. Pacer for Seven Deltas, toe of the roof of Glacier, climbing through 2,300. This is the perfect um, terrain to see bears. This is about the altitude um, they like to hang out at. Wow. And they'll just look like little black or brown dots, like slowly moving across the hillside. Oh, okay. Probably would mistake them for like a little shadow running around. Yeah, they're, they can be kind of hard to spot, which is why you got to get a little tight to these corners. Okay. The other reason, too, when you're in mountainous terrain, you typically want to stay to one side of the canyon or the other. That way, in case you got to flip around, you've got the whole canyon to turn around in. If you fly right down the middle and try to turn left or right, you've cut your turn radius in half. Right. This is awesome! <laughs> oh my god! really smooth up here today. This is a perfect day for this. Oh my goodness. It's just amazing that there's snow up here still. Oh yeah. That's just yeah. incredible. Snow year round up here. Yeah. It doesn't go away. No, never. Mm. It's really beautiful in the winter seeing all of this covered in snow. I'm sure. Oh my soul. <laughs> oh my soul! Wow! <laughs> hey, yup, this stuff is pretty this is just insane. insane. This is... Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Yep, so this glacier just goes all the way up, almost to uh, the base of Denali, pretty much. Wow. So this is Backside Lake and Backside Glacier, so we're going to go poke our head in over at here. The Sorry, what? At the lake? This lake right here. Um, so, so you'll see it when we get a little closer. So the glacier feeds down into a little lake. We can't land here, but I'm just going to show it to you real quick. And then we're going to pop over to another lake. Do you, do you see the glacier ice down below you, the blue color? Look over here. That crazy oh, bright blue. Oh! I see. Okay, okay, okay. It has a different... Okay, got it, got it. It's got a... A different blue color. Yeah, so all the glacier ice... Ooh, there are a lot of people who will get really scientific and know a lot more than I do, but basically the, the ice is so dense that when the light refracts off of it, 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 it's, like it's a clear. It, it looks insanely beautiful, it is. but it's just because the ice is so dense it wow. makes it that really intense blue color. Wow. We're going to do, we're going to practice, obviously I want you to take in the scenery, but since it's your first lesson. I do want to practice our first little steep turn in here. Ah, okay. So we're going to come up to this right hand side on this canyon here. And then we're going to make a left turn around. So at this point, you've been making some really beautiful, nice, gentle turns. But this time we're going to make the turn a little bit steeper. And the main thing I want you to focus on is on the nose. I want you to watch the nose just track across the horizon without either going way up in the air or way down. You want it to kind of track just straight across the line on the horizon. And just like all the other turns, you're going to lead with a little bit of your left rudder and follow with a little bit of aileron. But this time you're just going to do a little bit more of all those things. You can tuck back in here a little bit further. I can't hear you that well, I'm sorry. We're going to tuck back into this canyon a little bit further. Is that oh, better? Can you I hear me okay? So. All right. And then right about here, we're going to make this nice gentle left turn. So a little bit on your feet. Beautiful. Perfect. And just hold it like that. Nose down just a little bit, a little bit of forward pressure. Beautiful. And then straighten out right over this pond here. That was perfect. Let's pass your check ride right there. Ah! <laughs> uh.
gorgeous. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna follow this hillside on our way back down the glacier. Keep our eyes peeled for bears up here. Woo! It's just amazing. Probably a little bit different with the scenery you're used to flying back in the Midwest. <laughs> A little bit more mountains up here. Oh yeah. Oh. Go ahead and bring the throttle back just a little bit. Back to about 25. Perfect. Oh. There is a bear on this ridge line right over here. <gasps> my flight oh my gosh, I see a bear! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ooh, he is booking it. The big guy down there. He is. Look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! Oh. Dude, I made my day! <laughs> Flying and a bear! Oh my gosh! He's a big guy too! Woo! He was on a mission! He was, he was cooking! Yeah. <laughs> oh my word, that's awesome! Nice! I'm so glad you got to see that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Man. They're so cute from the air. Yeah. I would never want to see them up close, oh, but... <laughs> I can't. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> I'll take a stuffed, a stuffed bear. <laughs> a stuffed animal. Yep, this is definitely the terrain they like to hide out of. Oh, okay. Oh, a pretty little waterfall coming down over here. Oh. I don't know if I'd actually call that a waterfall, but a little, little stream coming down the mountain. <laughs> when we're crossing mountain ranges, what I'm looking for is um, the close terrain in relation to the far terrain. I want to be seeing more and more of that far terrain. Um, so see how you can see those dark trees on the far side? You're seeing more and more of those dark trees way, way out in the distance. Okay. So that means we have enough altitude to get past this uh, little hillside. If we are seeing less of that far, far mountain, that would mean that we're not high enough to get across this. This is all very... You're, you're learning some advanced mountain flying techniques while you're on your first lesson, so... <laughs> you're just going to be ahead of the game a little bit. Do you want me to maybe demonstrate a landing? <laughs> sure, why not? Alright. You can kind of be on the controls and see what you I'm doing. You the controls. Alright, my flight controls. You're going to be doing the landing back into Christensen, so don't think you're getting out of it. Are, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man, alright. <laughs> I mean, I won't force you if you really don't want to, but oh. you could do this. You can totally do this. Okay. All right, so this is the lake that we're coming into. I have like a four landing checklist up here that I'm going to look at. So I'm going to make sure the gas is on both. Why don't you read it off to me? Okay, gas? Yes. Gas is on both. I'm checking that down there. Yes, hub. Okay. I don't need to do anything with that. Nope, all right. That's all good. And water rudder. I'm going to let this thing go. Those are up. So you just want to make sure that they're up before okay. you come into land. And make sure. The mixture is right where I want it, so that's okay. perfect. Army. I'm going to pull it on, make sure it's still running smoothly, and then push it back off. Okay. And flaps. I'm going to get a little closer and I decide which way I'm going to land. That's when I'm going to add some flaps. I imagine I'm probably going to come into land right this direction, kind of the way we're pointed right now. Okay. But I'm going to come in and circle the lake a little bit, make sure there's no hidden obstacles that I'm not, you know, seeing from this angle. And I'm looking to check to see which way the winds are coming from. So all those ripples on the water indicate to me that there's a little bit of wind on the water. Not a ton, but I'm going to circle it a little bit and see what those winds are doing. Okay. And this rhythm part means that there's no there's no ripples in it. It's like more glassy, right? Yep. Yeah, so the glassy means that it's perfectly calm wind. Alright, so it looks like the winds are coming this way. I can look down at those ripples and see that they're coming that way. I think it's... There's a plane down there on the south end. 
Alright, so we're going to come into land that same direction I was pointing last time. And I want you to follow me on the controls and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go up and over this hill a little bit and then come back around. And it's just a little bumpy because we're up going over this hillside right here. You gotta think about the winds like the water, like going through a stream, going up and over rocks. But all these hillsides, the winds are coming up and down off of them. So when we get up in the mountains, the winds tend to be a little bit bumpy. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna turn final. I'm adding a notch of flats. This is my final approach corridor. Oh, nice. This is perfect. We're just following the stream down and around to the water. Alright, so as I get a little bit closer, I'm going to bring the power out a little bit. I'm going to bring the nose up to my landing attitude. Bleed off all this extra energy. And then power back in just a little bit. And then I'm just holding this the whole way down to the water. I am pretty much like just chilling here. I'm making little tiny adjustments on the yoke. But this is pretty much all I do the whole way down to the water. Just nice and patient. And there we are on the water. And I'm going to stay on step. This is gonna feel a little weird. Are you ready for this? Sure. Alright, this is called a step turn. So I'm just turning at like a high speed taxi on the water. Okay. So it's kind of like I'm drifting in a car, is kind of what it feels like. Uh huh. So I'm just on my feet back and forth. Just adding a little bit of power through the turn. My eyes are on the nose, making sure that that nose is just tracking straight across the horizon. It's bobbing just a little bit as we hit this wind here. But other than that, it's just going straight across the horizon. Uh, we're going to head back to that cabin right there. Okay. Alright, power's coming all the way back. Yoke's all the way back. You can bring the water rudders down. And we can take our headsets off so we can finally hear each other. drift away either. This is perfect. Flip those two switches down and then this is looking good. We're just gonna nice and gentle go up on the beach. After experiencing some pretty incredible scenery, learning some unique flying principles, and enjoying a little relaxation on this remote lake, we headed back to the flight school, excited to tell everyone about my flight and of course to plan more flying adventures.
babe. It was freaking awesome. We saw two bears. What? And That's crazy. We landed in this awesome, I don't even know the name of the lake. It's called Spink. It's up in the national park, well, in the state park. It's in the state nice. park. Nice. It was fabulous. How'd she do, Sarah? She did awesome. She's a natural, nice and <laughs> delicate, gentle in the control. It's perfect. It was amazing. There you go. You may be paying for more lessons this week. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, you have created a monster. That's awesome. It was amazing. Looked oh. like you had fun. I love the picture you sent. <laughs>